Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play 60 Seconds. My name is Weasel. We're gonna jump right into the game under the normal difficulty. And we're gonna try to survive once more by scavenging the supplies in 60 seconds and then jumping down into the bunker. All right, so my plan of action is, first of all, see where the friggin' radio is. Yeah, okay, they, they say I should get a fire axe. This is not... Hmm. Okay, let's grab the mask, that's always helpful. The fire ma uh, fire axe. Yeah, the fire max. Come on, grab the water! Well, that took me seconds. Very crucial seconds. All right, we found the radio. That's pretty much what I wanted. Without the radio, I feel that the run is pretty pointless. You, can, you, might, you might as well restart, because you're not gonna hear the military. They might eventually come for you, though. At least that's what I heard. All right. Ooh, that's a that's a great bathtub, honey. I don't know why you are putting all the cans in the bathtub. You might be a little bit crazy. I remember you destroying my radio in my last run. I'm not still not still not forgiving you for that. Okay, grab that. Grab the playing cards. Grab the rifle. Okay, wait. I think I forgot my daughter, didn't I? Yes. Daughter, come here. Buck spray. Why didn't I grab the medi kit, Weasel? Why didn't you grab the med kit? All right, could have been worse. I think we got some good stuff. At least we got the essentials. My plan was to get the radio, get the item that the radio was talking about, for whatever reason. That might be what the saying, like, ah, oh, take that to your shelter and we will rescue you. One can of soup. Wow. All right, one second. We don't have that much food. Yeah. Oh, two cans, actually. My, my bad. Two cans of food. So, I think we can do this. We think we can do this. We got all the items that potentially might help with the military. And we can always send out the kids to scavenge. I will stay in as long as possible this time before I send someone out. Um, or at least until we have, like, day five or six something. Alright, best behavior. Anyone is fine. Uh, no, we're not preparing an expedition for tomorrow. We're gonna wait a little bit. We can't sleep. Oh Haven't had that in a while. We don't have a med kit because I took the bug poison instead I'm not a smart man Not a smart man Bravely ignoring our symptoms. We try to get at least an hour or two of sleep. No luck Well, I can see you know a nuclear apocalypse kind of screwing with your sleep pattern Anyway, Mary Jane is very thirsty, has to drink something, really tired. Water, 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 water. All right. Here you go, guys. Enjoy. Um, oh, yeah, we're not, we're not gonna send anyone. Oh, Timmy is actually full of health and optimism. Yeah, we're gonna wait a little bit longer. Uh, I think when we, when we feed them, which should be today or tomorrow, is a good time to prepare an expedition. Uh, nothing new, nothing new, everything's calm. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna prepare expedition for tomorrow, and then I'm gonna send them out day five. I think that's quite all right. Oh, wait, we have two more cans. Nah, we don't need to send anyone out. We're good. As we were about to start our book club discussion, the only book we've read, the phone book, we got interrupted by knocking at the door. We found it was a group of refugees. They were doing much worse than us and begged us to provide with them any food, water, or medical supplies. I'm sorry, I can't need that myself. I have to turn them away this time. Usually I always give them something. Let's hope they are not angry at us. We could tell our guests were not thrilled with our refusal. Their eyes alone were enough to understand how much they needed those supplies. They did not beg, but simply turned around and left in an unknown direction. Maybe they will have some luck elsewhere. Maybe. That is so sad. Mary Jane isn't worried, at least she's not saying it out loud. Timmy's good, good, everything's good. Ted has rested. Good, 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 good. I think we're gonna prepare an expedition and we might send Ted actually with the gas mask. If there's one person we truly miss, the great Uncle Terry. Yes. Well, let's see if we have photos in the Boy Scout book for whatever reason. That is such an odd thing. At least it's gonna make us happy. Always good. We did. The photo we were looking for was stuck between the pages of the Scout Handbook. What a lucky coincidence. Oh, yes. All right, Mary Jane needs water. Eat something. Water. Okay, I think the only person... Yes, Timmy should eat something. Good. Timmy, eat something and water for the rest, right? Am I, did I get that right? Yes. Okay. I think it wouldn't be the worst idea to give t uh, Ted also some food. Because we're going to send him out. Wait. Yes, he's getting food. And when he comes back, I don't want him hungry because then he's going to need two portions. 
or even three. If you don't feed them on the day that they're saying they're hungry, you're gonna have to feed them two times in a row until they're not hungry anymore. It's kind of odd. All right, Mary Jane is hungry. Water, food. Okay, so just Timmy wants water. It's quite all right. Here you go, guys. And enjoy. Oh, wait, I could... Nah, I'm not risking it with Timmy. Timmy kind of runs away. Uh, we're gonna lose the flashlight. No, the earthquake. The earthquake is gonna break the gas mask or so. No, I don't have the gas mask. Right, Ted took it out. All right, earthquake or not, nothing is going to stand between us and a daily dose of radiostatic. Yeah, we really need it. Okay, nothing new, nothing new. Nothing new. I like that because that means I don't need anything. If we don't watch ourselves, we'll get sick, seriously sick. I will not use the box spray to avoid getting, you know, puke. We don't have to do anything. If it says we need to wash, ignore it. We're just gonna be dirty, dirty peasants. All right, Mary Jane needs to drink something. And Dolores needs to drink something. All right, I'm gonna wait one more day. What's that sound? Something or someone is below us. The only reasonable to go and check it. How about using that manhole in the corner? Sure, let's use the axe with that. I have no idea who it could potentially be. And I hope Ted is gonna be back soon. We're running out of food here. Whatever lived down there, making all that noise probably fled when we jumped down, waving our axe around and shouting warrior chants. Our warrior chants sounded like jingles from radio ads, but that probably made them even more terrifying. They left a mask. Fantastic. All right. Water, water, water! And food for Mary Jane. Okay. Water, 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 food. We were up dripping sound today and noticed there's something leaking from the pipes. That cream liquid looked innocent enough. Even after it ate through the table and the chair and the floor, patching up that pipe is probably a good idea. Uh, let's use the Boy Scout book to do that. Hopefully we're not gonna lose it in the process. That thing is super useful. That's a new one. Nope. And we're not sick. And Ted is not back. Problem solved, no leak, no mess. Back to our tiny little shelter. Well, that worked great. And Dolores wants to eat something. Okay, Dolores, here you go. Let's do something today, something fun. If we don't, someone might snap. Well, let's go and play checkers. Nothing, nothing quite like that. Ooh, Ted is back. And he brought quite some food. <laughs> and Mary Jane went crazy. Very nice. She went cuckoo. Mary Jane never got along with board games, so it's no wonder Checkers almost drove her insane. Checkers does that to some people. Ted has safely returned from his voyage. The sweet, sweet prospect of government aid. Hey, we're no commies, but centrally planned help during the apocalypse is something we're really looking forward to. Our expedition excited the shelter right before the airdrop started falling out of the sky. One of the food drops broke in midair and now it's raining soup. A few kids can survive the fall. Some crates were filled with very weird stuff. Why did I drop a crate full of rubber ducks? At least one of the smaller crates had a few water bottles in it. Mary Jane went nuts. Timmy is hungry. And calm for Dolores. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Ted is really tired. All right. Um, oh, yeah, right. Okay, so Tim wants food. Ted wants food. That's all. Good. Tim and Ted. Here you go, guys. And I think we're gonna... Oh, Mary Jane is more than ready to go out and scavenge as a crazy person. I don't know about that. I'm gonna give Timmy some food to... well, maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Wait, did he want food or what? Water. Okay, he wanted food. Never mind, so take water off and just give him food. And we're gonna expedition tomorrow with Timmy. We can keep sitting on our backsides here in this tiny little bunker, or we can start thinking about getting away as oh, far as possible. All right, let's listen to the radio. Maybe we can hear something. And if you break the radio, Mary Jane, I'm not gonna rescue the next time. Just so you know. Good news, the government made a radio broadcast about extracting survivors from our area. The announcer asked everyone listening to wait a while longer and expect further communications. In a few days, we'll be out here soon. Everyone has to drink sometimes. All right, water, 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 water. And I think they want food, food and water. Okay, let's send Timmy. Timmy. And again, I could probably send the daughter since she's crazy. I'm a little bit worried about that. I like her bird pose there. Very nice, very nice. Can I have a fly? I would really like to slap a fly. 1.5, 2.25. Well then. 
Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today and no trouble there to cross her path. All right, everything's good. Just Ted is hungry. Okay, let's listen to the radio. That is still not broken. I wonder sometimes if you should use the radio, actually. Or just wait. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into government emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news. The fault outside is mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Dolores has not eaten for a while. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Okay. Hungry, hungry, hungry. You're all hungry hippos. Here you go. It's hard being down here. Living here. We need to make the best of it. Or else we might find ourselves in even more trouble. Who's doing all these weird doodles? And who's riding? It's a good question. Alright, it's not hard to worry considering our current situation. Some days we're still struggling to deal with this shelter life, but we can't lose hope. Alright. Uh, any water left? Water, water. Okay. I got you covered. Oh, that's soup. Sorry. Water. Please, Timmy, bring something back. Ideally food right now. And water. And anything else that's practical. All right, maybe moving away won't be too bad. We can probably make new friends, meet new people, providing anyone is still alive, that is. All right. Still isn't completely sane. It fills us with worry, but there's not much we can do. Okay, hopefully she's gonna turn better soon. Uh, everything's relatively calm, nothing needs to be done. All right, Mary Jane has been dropping hints that it is a special day for her today. We had to think about it hard. After eliminating your average festivities, the anniversary of that great barbecue we had three years ago, and International Popcorn Day, we realized she was talking about her birthday. That means we need to get her a gift. How about some box spray? Girl, you, you want some box spray? I don't know, maybe that's driving her crazy. Kids these days are all about these spray deodorants. This anti back spray probably works the same way. Mary Jane was so excited. Well, she also isn't mentally stable. So she seems to have the possibility to reason normally. Other than that, everything's okay with the rest of the family. Ha, guess what? We already got ourselves our very own fallout garden. We've got a bunch of mushrooms growing on the walls. They're big enough to be eaten. How about that? Should we prepare a mushroom feast today? Yes, eat the mushrooms growing on the wall. What could possibly go wrong? Well, they're not that, so that's something. We learned something today. Tomato soup is your best friend and mushrooms aren't. Yuck. Murray's diet could use a little food. Uh, okay, and water and water. Okay, water, water, and wait, who wanted food? Mary Jane and Ted, okay, here you go, guys. I'm out of food officially. Another broadcast from the military. They said they needed to locate the general area we're in and they want to leave specific markings close by. They said the markings should be cards, playing cards. We're supposed to go out to the nearest bus stop and pin the card denoting our head count there. Weird, perhaps, but if we're doing it, the time is now. Yes, I have playing cards, finally. I hope this is gonna help. And Timmy's back. And he brought food. All hail Timmy. All hail Timmy. Good, the card's on place. All we need to do is wait. It shouldn't take long, we hope. All right, safe with us for now. All daily bread and butter needs. We always went to the small store next to the barbers. They had the most amazing clerk who was always asked us to come again. We found it intact. Most food in the shelves was outdated and rotten. A lot of eggs were smashed on the floor. Guess what? Soup cans don't expire until 2015. Good for us. Plus four. There was a restroom in the back. Inside, we found a dead body next to a first aid kit. Does It doesn't help. Damn it, our gas mask was damn it. damaged. Well, that's okay. So... Uh, Timmy's hungry and sick. Dolores hasn't eaten in a while. She's hungry too. And okay, so Dolores gets water. And Timmy gets water. Alright. Wait, not water. Food, sorry. Dolores water. Timmy is only hungry. Right. My bad. And we're gonna give the med kit. So we can maybe send him out again soon. Oh, Mary Jane is feeling excellent. Well, maybe let's send her out. A trash can of ours is getting disgusting. The good news is we don't have much of an appetite when we see it, so we're saving some food. Yet, for some reason, we'd like to tidy this mess up. Well, let's use the Boy Scout book to clean up. Let's let's tell us. Tell me, Boy Scout book, how to clean up a fallout shelter. We're going to throw the trash. That was close. An Esodos glowing box might be more enough to drive us out to the wasteland. Roaches are the worst, but radioactive roaches. Well, at least you get some light source. 
Today, Mary Jane became very unpredictable and aggressive. In a sudden fit of rage, she grabbed an axe standing in the corner and started striking the wall, although we felt a bit sorry for that poor wall. We chose to stay silent and remain grateful for not being the target of her aggression. After a really vicious struggle, Mary Jane finally grew tired and tossed the axe behind her. The weapon now is completely useless, the edge is tall, and she also managed to break the wooden handle. Mary Jane looks very relieved, though. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't? Timmy is very hungry. Okay, he needs water and food. Timmy was cured. Oh, cool. Yes. And food. Okay, Dolores and Timmy get food. And Timmy wants water. Okay, I hope that's gonna help. And we might actually be able to send out... Yeah, let's send out the daughter. Very good. I mean, if she's feeling relieved today, hopefully she's gonna come back. Let's send the crazy chick. Good idea. All right, Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she comes back. Yes, Timmy should eat. Eat. Water. Water. Eat. Eat. Yeah. We can do this. I mean, the military is gonna come eventually. Don't they? Do we have to take care of ourselves or will someone come to our rescue? Hopefully they're gonna come. I mean... Dolores should get it. Okay. Yeah, we. that's the last bit of water we have left for Dolores. We decided to peek outside for just a minute to see if the store around the corner was still standing. When we were about to step out, we heard a growl in the darkness and a pair of ferocious eyes. Alright, let's use a rifle on that. I don't know if bug spray is what you want if, like, a giant mutant creature attacks you. Yeah, it worked. We're still alive. Wonderful. Quick shot with the rifle was more than enough. Good, good. Alright, yeah, we all want water, but we don't have... Wait, was someone hungry? Ted is hungry. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be close once again. So far, she's back. Water, water. Yes, she brought water, and she's totally done. She's crazy and sick. Ah, uh, wonderful. We played I Spy, and it was pretty fun for the first three minutes. After that, everyone got bored of the letter W. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the letter from the surface, uh, from to the shelter from the surface. Our houses and ruins, we still haven't paid the mortgage. Ah, who cares? All right, two food, two water. Yeah, we we're looking for our own house. Okay, Mary Jane is done. Done. We could give her food, though. Timmy should eat something and water. Food, food. Okay. Well, actually, we have so much food, we can give the whole, whole bunch something. Um, that would just be Mary Jane and Timmy. Mary Jane and Timmy. And who wanted water? That would be Timmy. And yeah, just Timmy. Good. Sadly, we don't have anything like that. Um, Dolores. Yeah, we're going to send Dolores out. We wish we could just leave. Yeah. I understand. I hope the military is going to get you. It shouldn't take too long anymore, I hope. Still better to be safe down here than dead up there. Okay, Mary Jane is hungry and thirsty. Dolores, Ted, everyone except Timmy wants water, Mary Jane wants food. Let's do that. Actually, let's let, let, let him sit one day without water. Except Ted. Because, oh wait, actually Dolores, because Dolores is gonna be sent out today. Yes. Giving her a better chance to survive, hopefully. I don't know if I want to feed my daughter. Little food, everyone has to drink sometimes. Okay. Ted wants water, Mary Jane wants water. And you know what, let's... I think food for everyone. Oh, actually they don't need food, just Mary Jane. Good, good. The military is communicating through the radio. Oh no, I don't have an axe anymore. Oh no. I can't speed up the process, I assume. Why not doing that? Oh, Timmy looks like he's going a little cuckoo. Um, yeah, Timmy just wants water. Ted wants food. It's okay. We, we can do that. I don't want to drive Timmy crazy. There's not much you can do in this tiny bunker. All right, let's play some cards. Why not? Unless you break the cards, then I'm going to be upset. Okay, I think if our... Wife comes back, we might not. With water, we might have to make some decisions. Okay, everyone's fine, nobody needs anything. Very happy. Very happy about that. 
Ah, still she isn't back. New. No. What to do, what to do, what to do. Mary Jane is hungry. Something to drink for Mary Jane. Hungry. Touch a drink. I don't know if I want to give Mary Jane anything anymore. Timmy's hungry. And she drink. Okay, Mary Jane. I'm very sorry. Oh, someone is very serious about banging on the hatch. We are scared to open it, but it might be some good news. Okay, you know what? We're gonna try it. I'm risking the rest of soup I have. And the water. I'm risking it. Hopefully it's someone good. All right, our wife is back. Yay, and we're not rescued yet, so let's see. A group of travelers wearing gas masks and carrying some serious looking equipment gave us purified water. Ooh, perfect. We're glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. Our little trip to the surface might be spotted and followed. We should be more careful. Uh, to fall in a crisis, time of crisis is ordered. Yet, here we were walking next to a police station. That silly fly. Fly, fly, fly. Damn it. Uh, still operational. They seem to be capable of doing their job, the police station. Uh, though it's pretty odd the way they were talking about the New World Order. Okay, Mary Jane is hungry and thirsty. Timmy needs water. Dolores would love something. She didn't bring anything back. Dolores, that was completely useless. Okay, so... Um, Dolores wants food. Mary Jane wants food. Yeah, Mary Jane is not gonna get any food. She's still crazy. Timmy... Water... And food, okay. Water and food. Food for Ted, right? God! Hard to see right now. Um, Dolores wants food. Never mind. Here you go. And let's do an expedition. And I might just send Ted. I might just send Ted. And I think our daughter is gonna run away. She's pretty upset that she's not gonna get anything. Oh, she's still here! Hey, daughter! You think you're gonna get something today? I don't know. Okay. Timmy's being very brave. Dolores would love to eat something. Ted's something is rumbling. Well, I'm sorry. Okay, Ted and Dolores would like to eat, and Dolores would like water. And Timmy is fine. Good. I'm sorry, girl. Sorry, my daughter. She's, she's not gonna get anything. I'm gonna send Ted. Hopefully, he's gonna go for a good run. Bring some useful equipment back and some food. Oh, Timmy went crazy. Lovely. As long as they're not breaking the radio, I'm fine. Alright, yeah, Mary Jane. She's not gonna get a single drop of water. She got furious and stormed out. That's totally understandable. Dolores needs food. Let's give her some. Wait, Timmy didn't want anything, right? He was just going crazy. Yeah, he doesn't say anything. That's okay. All right, no one is talking. Let's listen to the radio. Maybe we can get a transmission from the military. <sighs> well, nothing's lost yet. Nothing new, though. Nope, nothing new. Timmy's hungry and water. All right. Hey, Timmy. Here. Let's, let's keep you alive. Another army transmission. I don't have an axe because ugh, my daughter broke it. I'm glad she's gone. Glad she's gone. Just gonna have to survive this. We're not lumberjacks. We're not chopping down that park. Maybe another time. Okay, yeah, he's not doing well. And Dolores will not last long without water. Well, you might have to go another day without water. I'm gonna... I, I have to stretch this out as best as possible because Ted isn't back yet. All right, nothing new for Timmy, and Dolores wants water and food, here you go. All right, oh yeah, let's listen into that signal. Ah, Daddy's back, and he brought food and water! Yay! Save the return from his voyage to the surface. We believe that our expedition to the wasteland must have been followed by strangers. We should be more careful. Atomic wastelands are hostile by definition, but there are some creatures that survive everything you throw at them, even nuclear bombs. One of them was a monkey. Ah, the monkey, who seemed to be in through a lot. Very lively, more than happy to accompany us. While we explored the streets, our monkey companion ran away and came back with two cans of food. And at one point at our expedition, he made weird sounds and dug in the ground and got one bottle of water. Also, he took us outside the town to see what seemed like a hidden bunker. Medical supplies. Yay! Do you prefer apple juice? But right now we should get him some water. Okay. So Ted wants food and Timmy wants water. Timmy! You're crazy. I'm not I don't think I'm gonna Oh Timmy could go outside? Alright. Timmy, you I know you're crazy. 
I'm gonna send you outside. We should go outside. It's Timmy. You don't need water and food right now. You can make it without it. Just wait. Oh, he came back instantly? That was odd. We weren't sure if we were not able to find whatever was hidden by the author of the map directions, but soon enough the pieces started coming together. After an hour of digging at the local park... Wait. Oh, interesting. Just, we started digging at the park. Um, or rather, what was left of it. We came across a working flashlight. Nice. Well, he came back within one day. That's pretty impressive. Okay, but he got sick. That's a shame. All right, Ted needs water and food. And Timmy wants food. And we're gonna give Timmy the med kit. We can't send anyone, but I'm still preparing an expedition for tomorrow. All right, you know what? Let's not do it. You maniacs, you blew it up. Ah, oh, damn you, damn you all to hell. That's something we should have told our neighbors when they blew up their barbecue last spring. Yes, those silly neighbors. <sighs> Day 39. The military still isn't here. Timmy killed his teddy bear. Okay. Timmy prefers apple juice. Timmy was cured. Okay, just water. Water for Dolores and Ted. Food. Okay. Yeah. I might send... I might just prepare an expedition for tomorrow. Alright, then we heard someone knocking at the door. It seemed to be a trader who's interested in ammunition. How about that? What about a board of checkers? Because I don't have any ammunition. <laughs> I heard a laughing. Interesting. We offer checkers instead of ammunition. The visitor was quite confused and tried to explain to us what ammunition is. We pretended to understand nothing. It was very amusing until he left with our checkers board. Asshole. We were worried about Timmy's state of mind. He's not doing very well. Laura says not eaten in a while. Um, and Ted is hungry. Okay. Yeah, we can't send anyone. That happens. Maybe we're better tomorrow. So, since he's crazy, I don't know... Ted is really thirsty and Timmy's hungry. Okay, so we got... Let's see, we got... Not too many left. Okay, you know what? Ted is thirsty. Timmy, you're not really helping, are you now? The military is communicating for the radio again. I don't have an axe. I cannot chop down trees. My silly daughter broke it. Please save us anyway. I think it's time to... Realize that Timmy is just eating up our food. Yes. Ah, oh, come on. Timmy really did it, outdid himself today. In a frenzy, he tore all the pages from his beloved scout handbook and transformed them into a dozen paper planes. They were flying all over the place, and although we tried to catch as many as we could, we reason wasn't many. Most of them landed in soup stains and in the bucket. Ugh. Unfortunately, the pages we managed to rescue aren't much of use to us. The table of contents in a chapter listing a hundred ways to probably take care of a scout uniform. Well, Timmy. Great. Great job, Timmy. It's... You know what? I don't care that you're hungry. And that you want water. Alright, let's give water to your mother because she didn't tore up the scout handbook. How about that? Yeah. Oh, you're still here? Well, good for you. Timmy's very hungry. About getting him some water. No, Dolores is fine as well. And uh, no problems. Good, 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 good. I would totally send Timmy, but it's not happening. Alarm! Someone's trying to break in and they're not alone. We better get ready. Or else we might have ended up dead. Or worse. Okay, let's use the rifle. To protect ourselves. Ooh, shooting. Oh, we're still here. Timmy's still here. We were able to defend our home this time. What if they come back? Timmy's hungry. I don't care, Timmy. Okay, and Ted wants some water. Good. I think Timmy should be gone today. All right, we were going crazy on this entire shelter, scrolling for little insects, or worse. It's worse, there's spiders, and not some miniature ones, but huge, furry, and creepy beasts. We got something to do about them. I think I might get a soup can if I kill them with the spray, as far as I remember. Or not. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't, apparently. All right, Timmy has been driven insane. We got water, though. There's one thing that the drive spade us away to stop us climbing up the furniture. It's the bug killing spray. This was the right time to... Where's the fly? Fly, 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 fly. Ha! I got it! I got it. I got the fly. Ha! Anyway, this was the right time to unleash the deadly weapon and the results were excellent. We eradicated 404. You know, 404, not found. Of the... Fly, fly. Ha! Got it. Uh, off those little bastards, we even found a water bottle. Yes, it was a good day. 
Dolores has not eaten for a while and water. Okay, he wants food and she wants water and food. Uh, let's not give her water. Let's keep that for the next day. Um, you know what? Let's give her water too. Or no. Yeah, they're both not going to be able to go out. We always wanted to throw a party with a huge cake. Well, let's throw a party. The kids has, have left the nest. Both of them. Okay, Ted went crazy. That's just lovely. Our relocation is probably something we'll be able to discuss after we get out of here. The wars will not last long without water. And they both have went crazy. Great! Alright, fantastic. A gang of thugs started banging on our door, ordering us to surrender and give up our supplies. Well, we're gonna shoot them. That's how we reply to those scumbags. Eh, see? That worked. We were able to defend, but if they come back... Okay, so Dolores is still kind of crazy, and Ted needs water. Here you go. And <laughs> nobody goes outside. Because we can't. Ah, what a shame. Day 48. So, I mean, the parents are still alive. We can make a few more days. This morning has been calm enough for Ted, and he's doing well. A hunting excursion sounds way too risky. Yeah, we, we can't. It's just not happening. Yeah, nobody wants anything. Ooh, she could go outside. That's awesome. Definitely we're gonna send her out. Yeah, the army isn't coming. Without an axe, I can't do much. I can't alert them to our presence. All right, let's send Dolores. Okay, Dolores wants food and water, so she's gonna get that. And Ted wants food. Okay, yes, she should. Oh, Ted could have gone too. Huh. I'm still gonna send the mother. Okay, Ted should drink something soon. Ah, tomorrow, not today. All hands on deck, there are people on the other side of the door and they don't seem too friendly. They promised us painful deaths at least 17 times already and it's only been five minutes. Well, let's use the rifle again. That's great that I have the rifle, it's really practical. It's like three times now that it's saved us. Wonder how long we're gonna have to sit in here. Okay, Ted gets some water. We felt that we should do something about interior decoration. The Feng Shui is fly, 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 fly. Ah, got it. Hope I'm getting achievement at one point. The Feng Shui is really off in our fallout shelter. While we were moving things around, we found a secret door. What's behind it? Let's use the flashlight and hopefully we're gonna... Damn it, the fly, I can't click it. All right. How does this fly survive for 52 days? I guess in the soup cans. All right, that was a waste of time. Eh. Ted tries to hide it, but he has a lot of issues. He often has lengthy conversation with a sock puppet because he's alone. Well, as long as he isn't hungry or thirsty, I'm okay with him being a little bit crazy here and there. Oh, wait, unless he breaks the radio. That would be really bad. All right, Ted's stomach is rumbling. Let's give him some food. All hands on deck. Again! Again, I'm getting raided. How many more times? This is insane. Never had that many raids, but the rifle keeps us safe. All right, Ted, drink something. Nope, tomorrow, not today. There it goes again, noises, weird noises all the time. Are they coming from the pipes, walls, it's something behind the door? We don't know, it's driving us insane. We should sit down and relax. Yes, play some cards with yourself, some solitaire. It's always good. Ooh, she's back, and she brought food and water. Best wife, best wife. Having some fun made us forget about, what was it again? Yes, fly, fly, fly. Okay, I think I got it. Sorry, I can't, can't stop it. Can stop. <clears throat> we were glad to see Dolores come back. All right. We were cautiously exploring the neighborhood when we got cornered by a scary looking thug with a shotgun. The odds weren't in our favor until a crate fell out of the sky and dropped right onto the band. And excellent timing, government eight. A food drop plus two food. Yay. And someone forget to fill the water crate with something softened to fall. Well, most boggles were broken, but we got two. And we got a first aid kit. Yay. Okay, Dolores hasn't eaten for a while and is tired. Okay, water for Ted, food for her. Yeah, we can make a little bit and we can set Ted out. I'm so gonna send Ted out. It's vigorous enough to send the hazards, absolutely. <sighs> yeah, they're not coming anyways, that's, that's fine. Well, may maybe we don't need to chop down the park. Maybe other survivors are gonna do that and then we can, you know, join in. All right. Dolores should need some food and water. Okay, we can we can send him. We can send him, hopefully. Let's send Ted and hope he comes back. Just having crazy Dolores here, making me really nervous. 
Hey, Dolores. She would love to eat something. Here you go. All right, all hands on deck another time. Okay, not my lucky day. Hopefully the rifle doesn't break because I might run into problems. Luckily, it's apparently a 100% chance that we are able to defend ourselves if we have the rifle. And Dolores is giving into the madness. When Dolores came back from that expedition the other day, she had a tiny scratch on her leg. It didn't seem serious at the time, but right now it's a terrible sight. All right, let's use the med kit so she doesn't get infected. That would really suck. Well, we're gonna be easily able to do day 60, and I hope Ted comes back. Okay, Dolores hasn't eaten in a while, and water is all she wants. Here you go. Okay. Ah, oh, fly. Damn it. I wish I could hit that fly when the screen is fading off. Oh, it's a day 60, which is somewhat of a new record. Ah, fly. Fly. You're not escaping this time. Got her. Man, still no achievement. It's lame. All right. Sanity is very questionable. She doesn't need anything. Alarm! Someone is trying to break in and they're not alone. Man. Everyone wants to come into this bunker. This can't be that great. At least I don't think it's great here. Day 61. We're able to defend our home. What if they come back? I don't know what if. Alright, we have no medical supplies. We have no poison. No bug spray. Okay, what are you bringing back? You're bringing back water and food. But we ruined the map, I think. Too bad we didn't have that spray. We woke up to the smell of something burning. We got up in panic and it turned out the fire was under control, more or less. For the past few days, Dolores has been very busy building a house of cards. It started with a single building, but soon she was out of cards, constructing a small car town, standing in the corner of our bunker. During the night, Dolores set it on fire and a calmly observed the flames. When we asked why, she just gave us an indifferent state worthy of a serial killer and said that some women just want to watch the world burn. <laughs> that is safely returned. It might sound paranoid, but we think someone followed us, spotted an unknown group of people scavenging our neighborhood. They have had a lot of bags and backpacks, too many even. They were really busy and didn't notice when one of their packs went missing. A little help from us. One can of soup, one, two bottles of water. Yay! Every day, Ted is becoming more and more absent-minded. Since early this morning, he has been completely committed to reading a newspaper or writing something that seemed to think he was a newspaper or toilet tissue. He seemed to be very interested in it, so we didn't want to drag him away from his reading. He had to answer a call of nature, but then he accidentally reached for a map. So I to say, it's unusable now. Ugh. Okay, Dolores wants water, and Ted wants food. And I'm not gonna send anyone out, obviously. And still no lumberjack. Sometimes it seems that the events are so similar to each other. And there's not much I can do without the axe, so... Ted is hungry and thirsty. Hungry and thirsty. Here you go. Here you go, boy. And again, a gang of thugs trying to attack us. Man, we're good at defending, aren't we? No one's lost. Rifle doesn't break. So I'm just gonna ignore that. All right, both are hungry. Let's do that. I'm really hoping that like a day 90 or something we can get this. Oh, we're not alone. There's a huge hairy bunny beast that seems to be hiding one of the pipes. It's been poking its head out, eyeing our measly food sash. We can't let it get to it. We can't let it and be here when we sleep. Okay, I'm just gonna use the rifle, which might break, but food is important. And it's broken. We had to protect our food. And we lost our food. Are you kidding me? Our cans are saved. I had two cans. Well. And it blew up. <sighs> Dolores will not last without long water. Ted is hungry. Okay, Ted, here's some food. Uh, yeah, I can't any do anything about the trash. I'm pretty much running out of any kind of equipment. Day 66. Come on, military, where are you? Roaches everywhere. We're doomed. We all feel dirty. All right, water for Dolores, water for Ted. Luckily, we have plenty of water. I'm not gonna be able to send him out. And a gang tries to come in, and now I don't have a rifle. The end. Ah, uh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Uh, yeah, we weren't able to defend ourselves. The bunny beast took our rifle. Shouldn't have traded that in. Man. Yeah, that was a long one. Still no survival. I heard about people that got rescued the first time they tried. I am... Um, this is hard. This is hard. Any ideas? Feel free to leave them in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Why isn't there like a way? Do, do I need to end this somehow? Oh, this, this way. Well, we're sold into slavery. I don't know what we are, actually. You perished!
Well, we got we're getting sold to slave traders getting sold there. That's okay. What can you do? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. I'm Weasel. I'm out and hope to see you around. Bye-bye.